Welcome to TechWiz with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about this error. If somebody is trying to get the data from an ADLS generation 2 or from lab storage or uh, maybe even from the key vault and having some problem. Now, this uh, can be issue when uh, you have uh, disabled those uh, all networks and uh, then uh, um, that's where you are getting this error. Now, there is a good news. Azure Data Factory is a trusted service uh, in uh, for the Azure Blob Storage, ADLS, uh, uh, Gen 2, and the key vault so if uh, we can just uh, check that pop box uh, and it's going to let us uh, access the data okay so let's go ahead and take a look uh, here i have uh, this um, uh, azure portal and uh, i have azure data factory right there uh, i'm going to open the azure data factory uh, studio right there and let me close these all of the tabs uh, so uh, this error actually I was seen uh, a lot of places and uh, people having a lot of problem now what I'm going to do here uh, first of all I will be creating uh, the blob storage uh, so we can do two things uh, we can actually uh, create a blob storage and uh, also we can create uh, ADLS gen 2 so we'll read from ADLS gen 2 and then write to the blob storage uh, so let's go ahead and uh, create that so first of all I'm going to go to the blob uh, Azure uh, storage accounts here and uh, then uh, I'm going to create a blob storage. In this case, uh, what uh, I'm going to do, select my subscription, then select my resource group, uh, and I am going to give this name blob storage, and uh, then uh, I will call it Amir at the end. So let's see if this is available. It looks like this is available, so we can go ahead and create it. Okay, go ahead, create. And this is our simple blob storage. Now, we, what we are going to do, we are going to go and create an ADLS type. So we are going to go to the same storage there. There is no ADLS gen type 2. So you're going to go create. And here you're going to select your subscription. Then you will be selecting your uh, resource group. And in this case, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it uh, Tech Brother Storage. And then uh, I will put uh, at the end uh, ADLS. Okay, so let me... Uh, Tech Brothers Storage and then ADLS2. Okay, so that's the name what we are going to use. Um, so maybe it is a you know too long so i'm just going to delete some part of it okay so let's see if this is available now what we're going to do to make this adls type 2 what we have to do we have to go to advanced and then we have to check this box enable hierarchical namespace so that we are going to create and this is going to create our second storage that's going to be adls type 2. now i'm going back to my uh, resource group and here I have uh, this uh, blob container and uh, sorry blob storage and it's called blob Amir and uh, I'm going to create our container here. So I'm going to give a name here. I'm going to call it output. Okay. So this is our output container. And then meanwhile our ADLS is also uh, ready. So I'm going to go to that resource and here uh, in the ADLS uh, uh, storage I'm going to create a container called input. Okay. So this. Uh, is going to create uh, actually contain a file for us um, so i'm going to upload an input file here and uh, let's uh, click right there upload and then uh, what we are going to do here we are going to upload a file there now let's uh, select a file any file is fine it's a csv file having one record only so now we are all good with our setup uh, as of now, we did not do anything on the blob storage or ADLS uh, storage account. So we are going to do some uh, permissions. Okay, so first of all, uh, what I would like to do in this case, uh, let's go to the blob storage. In this uh, blob storage, if you go to containers, right, that's where our in output container is going to be. That's where our file will be generally copied. Now, you are going to the blob storage right there and then... Uh, you're going to go to network in the network what we are saying that we don't want to access this blob storage from all the account so what we are going to do we are going to select from some from the selected network so so maybe you want to add some ips or some from this your own vnet and all that from where this blob storage can be accessed so that's fine and i'm going to go ahead and save here so and uh, see right there, allow Azure services on this trust services list to access this storage account. And ADF is part of that this group. So we are fine here. So now you're going to hit save. And uh, this will be saved. Second part, what we need to do, we have to add the ADF in the access. So we are going to go to the access control. And in the access control, we are going to go to the add role assignment. 
and here I'm going to find the role storage blob data contributor okay that's what I need to select once I select that I'm gonna hit next and then I'm gonna go to the manage identity and here I will be selecting my ADF Azure Data Factory so right there and then select Data Factory here and then you will be selecting your TechBrowser's ADF so choose the name whatever you have now we are all good here and review and then we are providing this role story blob data contributor so we can read and write and all that so hit next and uh, this is uh, adding our role assignment so now our ADF should be able to read and write uh, to the this blob storage now second part uh, we have to uh, read the data from the ADLS2 right so we have that account right there so let's go and do the same thing here in the network first thing we don't want uh, uh, this open and we want uh, to limit the permissions so that's why we are saying selected networks so by doing that uh, so you can access uh, this from specific IPs so maybe you have a VNet uh, set of VNets uh, from where you would like to access this uh, blob storage also same thing uh, allow Azure services on the trusted service list to access this storage so that's uh, what we are doing and Azure Data Factory is part of that uh, group now that part is done and if you remember that uh, last uh, in the blob storage we also provided this uh, access control here we have to do the same thing so we are going to go back add role assignment and here we are going to find a blob um, storage blob data contributor so we are going to select that hit next and then uh, we are going to go to the manage identity select members and then uh, we will select our data factory and then uh, we will select the data factory right there hit uh, select and uh, you can see that our role story blob data contributor in the manage identity so we have this um, uh, our Azure data factory here and we are all good review and assign and uh, it is adding to it okay so now we are all good here and uh, what uh, is next step so if you guys remember that we have uh, uh, Azure Data Factory and we are going to use uh, Azure Data Factory to move the file between ADLS2 uh, uh, to the blob storage and uh, they both uh, uh, have this uh, if you see the, the public network or whatever you call it that's disabled now it is not accessible by all networks it's only accessible by select networks and uh, by allow Azure services which are trusted so Azure Data Factory is one of them and as you see that I didn't even didn't add my own uh, client IP so even if I go and try to access this container I might get error so see right there I'm getting error because even I did not add my own IP so that's uh, one of the things but from the Azure Data Factory we should be able to access and we are okay to do that now let's go there in the uh, Azure Data Factory we go to manage and here we are going to create two linked services so I'm going to go to new and first linked service I'm going to create I'm going to call uh, go to the data lake okay generation 2 and uh, hit next and now I will be selecting auto resolve integration runtime that's fine and here I have to select the manage ident identity so I selected that and then I have to select my subscription and then I have to select my storage account and we are selecting Azure uh, data lake generation 2 type so that's what we are selecting because that's where our input file is sitting now what we can do here I'm gonna call this one uh, LNK underscore input and then I'm going to call this one uh, ADLS2 okay so that's the name I'm given so I can go ahead and test my connection so sometime what happen uh, your connection is gonna fail if you see this connection is failing uh, so that's fine let's take a look and uh, this is where you're getting this error so if you see that error code uh, 24200 ADLS Gen 2 operation failed storage operation on container test connection get file operation return forbidden and all that so that is fine because uh, this error we are getting right now we have made the changes we are have given the permission and everything it takes sometime minute or two to uh, get the permissions uh, populated so just close this guy retest and wait for it so I waited for almost two or three minutes and let's see if uh, this is uh, successful now okay that's great so it is a uh, successful and error has gone so we didn't do anything we just uh, just waited and uh, the permissions are uh, implemented and everything looks good now we are uh, good here and second uh, uh, link service we are going to create for 
uh, blob storage. Okay, so that is also using the same technique and we have a disable all networks. So, so we are only going to use the manage identity there and then we are going to use this all subscription, uh, sorry, my subscription and then uh, we are going to use a blob storage. And in this, this case, if you see this, it says it is selecting what type of con uh, account uh, storage account it is so it is saying storage account too i have no control on this one and uh, i don't know why it is selecting that anyways uh, that's fine no big deal so i am going to give the name to this one l and k blob storage and uh, i am going to call this guy output okay because uh, that's where my uh, output file has to be created so test connection and this is also successful and go ahead and create it now now, next part, I can publish it right now, and uh, this is okay to publish, you know. And the uh, second part, what we are going to do, we are going to go to author, meanwhile. Now, we can create a pipeline, and we can copy the file between a bit from the ADLS uh, type 2 to the blob storage. And uh, um, uh, hit a new pipeline, and uh, go to the copy data. Honestly, I'm exhausted <laughs> because uh, I was working on uh, this uh, issue, uh, issue kind of thing and I was trying to do like why it's not working and all that. It took me forever. It took me almost like four or five hours uh, uh, to make this work. So eventually I got it this uh, right. So I thought, okay, I should share with you. So if uh, you guys feel like I'm tired and uh, I'm not uh, making the sense uh, sometime, it's okay. So now what you are going to do here, you're going to go to the source and here we will be click new and uh, we will be selecting data lake so data lake gen 2 and the csv file if you guys remember we have uh, uh, this link service linked input adls and uh, then we are going to go browse and select the input and here is my file select ok and uh, now yes first row is header that's fine hit ok and now we are all good we should be able to preview the data and uh, we are able to preview the data correctly now we are going to go to sync and here we will be using the blob storage so azure blob storage hit ok next and then select the blob storage linked service and now what we are going to do okay first row has header fine and uh, i'm going to go ahead and select a container and output container there's no file as of now hit ok and uh, hit ok now next what you're going to do you're going to go to the you know, sync data set right there hit open and now we are going to provide the, the file name so output.txt okay so you can provide any name whatever you want now i'm going to publish this and uh, then we will execute our pipeline our pipeline has been published and now we should uh, just uh, go ahead and debug the pipeline has been completed successfully and we can go and take a look here. So if we go right here, you can see how many rows has been written. So it has only one row, so that's written. Now, what we can do here, uh, if we wanna go back here, go to sync open, and uh, if uh, see right this, I can preview data. So I even don't have to go to the uh, blob uh, storage to check my data. I can simply preview data and see if it is uh, reading the file. So that's the output file it is reading. See right there, object output dot text. Because I remember that I do not even have uh, uh, the permission. So if I go back to my pipeline here, if I go to the source, and uh, I will say preview data. So you can see this is the object it is reading. This is the file it is reading from the input and I showed from the output as well. So I went to sync and then uh, uh, I showed you there uh, as well. So if you do open and uh, preview data here, you know, it is shown as a data in the output.txt file. Okay, so that's fine. Now, if you are really interested to go in this, uh, let's say, in the blob story, that's where our destination is. If I click right there, go to the containers, and uh, if I click on output, see, it is uh, going to tell me like, hey, you don't have permission on this one because we have uh, restricted all the permissions by selecting this part, uh, selected network. So we cannot access. Uh, so if I want to access it, I can add my IP here. And uh, then once I add my IP, save it here. And then uh, I can go to the containers now and uh, if I uh, click uh, output and now I can see the output file. So I just wanted to make sure uh, our test is successful and everything is working and that's why I did not provide even permission to myself. 
Okay, so that's great. So this is uh, how you will be uh, building your pipelines and providing permissions and uh, taking care of this uh, error. I hope this video will help you and uh, I have seen a lot of blogs, I have seen a lot of uh, posts, uh, people had the problem with this one. So I just want to make sure a couple of things I was reading. Uh, it works with Azure Blob Storage and ADLS2, but uh, I was reading it does not work with the file share on the ADLS2 and uh, Blob Storage. So I, I have not tested it. So, but if you want to test it, go ahead and test it. But uh, it works normally with the containers and all that. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.